In this video, we're going to graph or draw a picture of solutions to the equation y equals x squared plus 4x plus 3. There are several ways we can go about doing this. In this video, we're going to do it by identifying four key points on the parabola. The first key point we're going to identify is the y-intercept, or where the graph crosses the y or vertical axis. On the y-axis, the x value is equal to 0, and so we could imagine all these x's being 0. 0 squared is 0, plus 4 times 0 is 0. All that's left is the 3. The y-intercept is always going to be this last value of y equals 3 in this case. So on the y-axis, we put the point 3. The next important points we're going to identify are the x-intercepts. Usually, there's two of them, where they cross the x-axis or the vertical axis. In this problem, to find the x-intercepts, we always make y equal to 0. So we end up with 0 equals x squared plus 4x plus 3. This is easily solved by make... by factoring. Or we could have completed the square or used the quadratic formula, but this factors quickly to x plus 3 times x plus 1. We can now make each factor equal 0, x plus 3 equals 0, and x plus 1 equals 0. Subtract 3 to get our first x-intercept at negative 3. Put our first point, then, at negative 3 on the x-axis, and our second x-intercept by subtracting 1, to get x equals negative 1, negative 1 on the x-axis. The third... the fourth point, we've got 3 now, the fourth point we want to find is the vertex, which is the fancy math word for the bottom or the peak of the parabola, where it changes direction. The vertex we find in two steps. We have to find the x-coordinate, and the y-coordinate, so we know how far over and up to go. To find the x-coordinate, we use the equation the opposite of b over 2a, which comes from the quadratic formula without the square root part. a, b, and c, we see that b is equal to 4, so the opposite of 4, over 2a, which we see is 1, and so the x-coordinate is negative 4 over 2, which is negative 2. To find the second half for the y-coordinate, we are going to plug this negative 2 value back in for each of these x's. So we have negative 2 squared plus 4 times negative 2 plus 3. Negative 2 squared is 4. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8 plus 3. 4 minus 8 plus 3 is negative 1. That's the y-coordinate. Point is always given as x, comma, y, so negative 2, comma, negative 1 is the vertex, or bottom of this parabola. Negative 2, negative 1. By connecting the dots, we can see the shape of the parabola take shape, and we get our parabola. By identifying the key points, the y-intercept, where the graph crosses the vertical y-axis, is always equal to c, or that last number, because all the x's go to 0. The x-intercept, where the graph hits the horizontal axis, is found when the equation equals 0, where y equals 0. We can solve by either factoring, completing the square of the quadratic formula, to find our two x-intercepts. The vertex comes in two parts. First, the x-coordinate is the opposite of b over 2a, or the quadratic formula without the square root part. Once we find the x-coordinate, we plug that back into the original equation for each of the x-values to find the y-coordinate. Plotting these four key points allows us to see the shape of our parabola.